I wanted to look at those things that give us enjoyment, that make us happy. <laughs> a lot of times here we talk about we talk about safety, we talk about feeling down and struggling with <laughs> with our you know our disabilities. But today I want to talk about the opposite. So let's go to it. Well, folks, I have no idea what happened to the second part of my video. <laughs> it's one of those days in which it went poof, <laughs> gone. <laughs> so <laughs> we're redoing the main part of the video. <laughs> and if you remember what we're going to talk about is the happy things in life. <laughs> so put on those smiles and your creativity. So, you know, many times when we have a, a disability of one thing or the other, um, it is, we can't do the same activities we used to do. And life has slowed down. And, um, you know, we have to fill in our time. We have more relaxation time. Let's call it that. <laughs> so... <coughs> So today we're going to talk about things that can fill in our time, can create some happiness, some distraction from our situation. So, <coughs> so I have a list. I have a long list of things that you could do or I could do, you know, an experiment with new things. Um, so let's, let's get started with this list. So, you know, I don't know how the artistic side of you is, but, you know, drawing or painting or, you know, other kind of art, you know, art with stones or, you know, any kind of those uh, types of art might be uh, helpful to you and you might discover a new, a new skill. So, um, so art of some kind, playing, Video games, you know, the guys I know uh, like video games. Some of the gals like video games. I've never played a video game, <laughs> so maybe it's time <laughs> that I get a video game. Uh, <laughs> the weather here has been really dry, <laughs> so my hair is sticking up. But <laughs> so playing video games of some kind and, and see how good you are or how good you can get. <laughs> Um, listen to stories. You know, there's there's a lot of people who narrate stories on on YouTube, so that might be helpful. Uh, but also to create stories, to write stories for adults, to write short stories for kids. Uh, you you might have you know a great skill. So, or you know you might want to write short stories for adults in regards to disabilities and, and things that, uh, you know, little pamphlets, little booklets, so that might be helpful to you. Uh, so going out, you know, we are so enclosed sometimes and it's hard for us to go out. It is, it is hard due to lack of transportation, due to our health that we don't always feel up to driving. If you are someone who um, it still drives, um, you know, but lack of transportation is, is big for us. So especially if you have a wheelchair, uh, and it, you know, a manual wheelchair is a little bit more exhausting if you have to go get the bus <laughs> on the corner. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's not easy for us to get out. So once in a while to push yourselves to get out somewhere, to go to the store, I don't care, to the pharmacy, to roll around somewhere <laughs> in a garden. If you have a garden nearby, just go outside and, and you know, enjoy the outdoors. Go to a restaurant with a friend to um, visit someone, your mother-in-law <laughs> or your mom and your dad, I don't know. But it's it, to the library. If you're someone who loves to read, 
Um, it's, it's great to go to the library physically. I know you can order things uh, online, but, you know, and it might be fun for you to order things online and then, you know, have that exchange with the library and read, read. You know, some people really love to read. I'm not one of those. That's why I do videos, because I don't like to read. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, so to get out and do fun things. And these suggestions um, don't mean that you do them alone. You can do them with someone else. So um, you can do that with someone else, with a friend do art or playing games or listen to stories or create stories, you can do them with someone else. So you don't have to do it alone. Um, redoing a, r a room. You might have a great eye for interior decorating. And use the things you have in your house. You don't necessarily have to go out and buy a whole bunch of stuff. But, you know, rearrange the room. Uh, take some pictures down and put some other pictures up, you know, so, um, you know, redoing, redecorating in, in your house, just, just a small room or your own bedroom. Um, create a, a YouTube channel. No, wait a minute. That's my job. <laughs> I create the channels. <laughs> so You don't have to do a YouTube channel. That can be a little tricky. And um, a lot of time invest invested in, in doing something like this. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't invest all that huge time that some creators do. Uh, but uh, within 24 hours, I'll have a video out or less because I'm OK with my mistakes. I'm OK with the, you know, with the humble type videos. <laughs> I don't go to the extent of multiple cameras, all that kind of stuff, no. It's sometimes a little slow, but that's okay. You can see me, you can hear me. Good enough for me. <laughs> if it's a little too slow, I might have to do it over again, but, <laughs> but um, invite others to come over. You know, have a movie night or have a game night you know, with cards or with video games or whatever it is, plenty of popcorn and treats, you know, that also is fun and distracting, and um, it works. So uh, video or movie night. Practice cooking. You know, some of you really enjoy cooking, and that's something that you can spend a little extra time doing. Um, you know, and, and make some meals ahead of time, put them in the fridge, you freeze some. Uh, or if you have been in the wheelchair just recently and you have not practiced cooking, being in the wheelchair, maybe that's a piece you want to do. So go into the kitchen, make a mess, doesn't matter, <laughs> clean it up later. But, you know, practice cooking while in the wheelchair and see what kind of things you need to, you feel like you need to improve. So you might find that you need some different tools that you might find that you need to rearrange the pots and plates and stuff so that they're, they are in a spot that is more accessible to you. Uh, home gardening, you know, some of you, you know, you might have not planted anything in your life. But all of a sudden, you discover that you really like it. You really like look, looking at and watching the plants that you planted to grow and to uh, become, you know, something. So um, gardening, indoor gardening or outdoor gardening. Outdoor gardening, I think, would be a little tricky uh, because you'd have to have, you know, shovels and stuff like that at your, at your height. So, but puzzles. <laughs> Puzzles, um, some people are really good at puzzles, and it really can distract you from, from pain or from your situation. You can bring your stress down. So puzzles are also, you know, a good thing to, to do. Uh, so those are, that's my list. That's my list. You might have some ideas that have worked for you, and so we really ask that you share those 
so that you know other people who are just recently in wheelchairs and their lives have slowed down and you know they're not working at this time or cannot work you know can look on this site and on this channel and say hey you know this is this is a good list i'm going to try xyz and and maybe that'll help you know fill in my time and you know do i want it to be like homework or do i want it to be um something really fun you found that puzzles are great you know for you to do or you know video games you know they're they're really hard sometimes i guess to learn how to do so um so you can look at this list and see what you can put into practice and and just bring your spirits up in doing something that is creative that is you know social to get out there even to date who knows <laughs> who knows <laughs> you might just you start getting along better with your mother-in-law i don't know <laughs> so but it's important to try a few things and to see what what can be helpful spiritually for you you know going to church spending time in prayer you know whatever faith you practice you know to practice it a little bit more and see what is what is helpful so i think that you know it's really important to find ways to bring our spirits up and not always remain down in the dumps in the darkness we need to avoid that because we are the wheelchair doesn't change who we are as a person we're still the same uh, the wheelchair is just a tool now that we're using to get around and, and do what we want to do do what we can do so um, just remember that and find fun things to do